Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to explain another topic that is taken from chapter number 4, History of Pakistan. And the topic name is System of Basic Democracies. That is one of the political reforms of Ayub Khan as well. So first come to the introduction. Uh, now it was not the first time that uh, someone is going to introduce uh, a political reforms in the country uh, but uh, before Ayub Khan, Iskandar Mirza who was the first uh, president of Pakistan and last governor general of Pakistan, he also introduced such type of system but it was not as much uh, com complete and comprehensive as um, Ayub Khan introduced. So, General Ayub Khan introduced a basic democracy system in the country on um, October 1959. The main purpose of this uh, system was to create political awareness among the masses and to reduce poverty from the country and to reduce ignorance and illiteracy from the country. Now come to the structure. Uh, the basic democracy system had four tires or four stages. First one was Union Council, the second was Thana Tehsil Council, third one was District Council and fourth one was Divisional and Provincial Council. How these councils were formed? Uh, about Union Council, if uh, an area where the population is from 1000 to 1500, that area will, be, uh, will form one council with the name of Union Council. Then four to five Union Council form one uh, Thana or Tehsil Council and then three to four Thana Tehsil Council form one district council as in Peshawar um, city there are four towns, four, uh, four Tehsils so when we join these four towns or Tehsil then um, the city Peshawar is formed. Then how the divisional and provincial council was formed uh, as you know that in KPK there are 25 districts so when we join these uh, 25 district one province KPK is formed so that is how these councils were formed they these councils have different functions for example agricultural development to impose taxes in the country maintain law and order situation uh, sanitation social welfare education etc main aims of the BD system was uh, development uh, to provide uh, opportunities for development at local or basic level to provide training to the public representatives by all the relevant officers together with bureaucracy and to make agree all public representatives and relevant offices to work together what was the role and status of these uh, BD members uh, the BD members who were initially 80,000 in number, they later on they increased to 1 lakh and 20,000 and they were given the status of the electoral college. Now uh, electoral college uh, or the BD members were also given the uh, opportunity uh, that uh, they can elect the president in the coming elections, not only president but the members of the national and provincial assembly as well. Now, uh, some of the uh, educated and intellectual considered this system as a source of keeping in power the ruling party, uh, that is uh, Convention Muslim League or Ayub Khan, by illegal or illegal method. Therefore, the people dislike this system. Then, uh, instead of political training of the people at the lower level and uh, social reform, this system became a cause of further tension. So, government used the BD members for the personal aims without any uh, doubt and resultantly the BD uh, system or scheme could not become a democratic one. Uh, therefore, uh, the people disliked the system and with the decline of Ayub Khan, this system was also abolished. That was all about the system of basic democracies.